Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video series, we are going to cover each and every concept on static timing analysis with proper examples. So first of all, what is static timing analysis? So static timing analysis is a method of validating the timing performance of the circuit by checking all the possible timing paths or violation of timing constraints. So first of all here, if you ask me what is the meaning of timing performance? So in simple words, the timing performance here means if you have a design and the design is supposed to work for example at 1 megahertz frequency. So if now the question is whether your design will work at 1 megahertz frequency or not. So how will you make sure? So here the ST means or the ST analysis comes in picture where the static timing analysis which is done using some static timing analysis EDA tools they perform some kind of checks and make sure that this particular design will work at 1 megahertz frequency or more. When we provide the design and all the related collaterals which we are going to cover in our next video, basically what the STA tool need as an input to perform the static timing analysis on a particular design. Once we provide all that information to the STA tool, then what the STA tool will do first of all it will break the design into different timing paths. So here, first of all, we are going to see what are all those timing paths in the designs which STA tool will basically consider for the timing checks. And yes, the synopsis prime time is the popular STA tool used in the design industry. So if you can see here, we have taken one example circuit. So what STA tool does? Means whenever the STA tool performs the static timing analysis on a particular design, it breaks the circuit into different different timing paths and the minimum unit or we can say the minimum circuit unit which the STA tool uses to analyze is nothing but whatever you can see on this screen. So however big design it, it is, the STA tool will break the design into a number of this minimum circuit. So this is basically you can call the basic unit unit of ST analysis. So if we provide the circuit net list of this circuit, whatever see on the screen to the SDA tool, what the SDA tool is going to do first is it is going to break this design into four types of timing paths. Now let's understand each and every path in details. So the first path the SDA tool will consider for the analysis is this path. This is input pin of the design and the path from this input pin to the data pin of the sequential element. So this is one path the STA tool will consider for the analysis. So what are the different kind of checks which will which STA tool will perform to analyze this path? We are going to see those in our next video. But in this video, just focus on what are all paths the SDA tool will consider for the timing analysis. So the path one is from input to the data pin of the sequential elements. The path two, which the STA tool will consider for the analysis, is the Clock pin of the sequential elements to the data pin of the next sequential element. The third path is the clock pin of the sequential element to the output pin of the design. Okay, and the fourth path is nothing but input pin to output pin. So there might be some combinational logic. So this logic here shown is nothing but combinational logic. So there might be some combinational logic between input and output. So the ST tool will consider that path as well for the timing analysis. 